Wednesday morning. It's Wednesday. It is October 25th, 2023. Listen, don't hate me, but two months is Christmas. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm excited for Christmas this year. Look at that. The Ace of Wands just popped out. <laughs> oh, I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome back to my subscribers and welcome to anyone new. If this resonates with you today, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. It so helps my channel. All right, let's see what's going on. All right, Spirit, what is going on with my collective today? October 25th, 2023. What do they need to know? All right. Justice, fairness, balance. Fairness and balance today. Good deal. If some of you have been feeling like you've been treated unfairly, that's about to change. Look at this, the Empress. The Empress, no one messes with the Empress, right? The Empress gets what she wants. The Empress gets what she wants. Some of you are really like, I, I just pictured like a flower blooming, right? Some of you are really like starting to see your worth. You're starting to know your worth. Another card, please. And it's a long time coming. This card wants to come out, so I'm going to take it. Look at this, the Queen of Cups. Love, emotion, caring, nurturing. I feel this is more towards yourself. There are the flowers, right? There they are. Blooming. I think this is beautiful. One more card, please. This one. Nine of Cups. Happiness. I see this card as an abundance card because it's an internal abundance. Total happiness. Total joy right? It's all about you. This is all about you. You're seeing your worth. You're knowing who you are. You're knowing what you want. Things are starting to become balanced again in your life. This is beautiful. All right, let's get some clarifiers. Why the justice card, please? Why the justice card? Whoa, we got flyers. Now, if you've been around long enough, you know, my readings always seem to have flyers. So here, look at this. We have the star card, wish fulfillment, wishes coming true, right? I feel like this is divinely guided. I feel like this is being brought to you after waiting and longing for something, after waiting and longing for this balance, this fairness right? Things are finally coming together for you. Beautiful. Underneath the deck, the magician. You've done this yourself. You've done the work. You put the work in and now you're getting rewarded. The empress, why is that here? And there's no gender in tarot, guys. It is the energy. Look at this. Look at this. So with the empress, the high priestess flies out flies out that deep knowing right intuition you knew this was coming at some point yeah you waited a while you're waiting a while but you knew deep down you knew and again divinely guided right the knight of swords is coming in quickly it's coming in quickly you're going to be seeing things clearly you know your worth. You don't, you know, accept things that are unfair. Queen of Cups, why is that here? Why is that here, please? Very nurturing, caring. But the Queen of Cups, you don't steer her wrong either. Whoa. You do not steer her wrong. What do we have? We have the King of Swords 
from knight to a king. Beautiful. The four of wands. Celebration. Celebration. And the two of pentacles. Again, with that balance. So I just saw a reading by Minopon Tarot, and he explained this four of wands really well. And I feel like it, it kind of means the same in this reading. So there's a portal there through those wands, right? And that's a portal of improvement. That's a portal of stepping up and seeing the rewards, right? And I just feel like that's the point where you're at now, seeing your worth, stepping through that portal, celebration, right? After some imbalance, two cards with imbalance, right? Or balance and or balance. And going from a knight of swords to a king of swords, yes, maybe you did cut things out in the past. Maybe you did start learning the truth about people and situations and things, but you're going from a knight to a king. And trust me, the king of swords knows everything, knows all does not tolerate anything that isn't for his highest good. Okay. Now we have the nine of cups, this celebration, right? This abundance. What is that all about, please? There we go, another flyer. Woohoo! <laughs> Getting my, my uh, exercise. All right. Let's see what card fell. The Two of Cups fell. The Two of Cups. This is soulmate energy. I feel like this is, if this isn't someone you're with, then this is just that energy of, of feeling like you belong. Feeling like you belong. I don't feel that anybody can make you feel otherwise at this point. We have the Three of Cups. Again, another card of like celebration, feeling like you belong. How beautiful. All right, let's get this card here. I pulled this deck right before I did the reading and I was drawn to pull a card from it. So that's what we're gonna do. Spirit, one more card please from my collective regarding this reading. Oh, we got a few. Should I read them all? Yes, I should. Okay. All right. And where does the power come from? It comes from within. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Next card. You will meet your soulmate when the time is right. Don't rush anything. Don't try to force anything. Right? It's all going to happen when it's going to happen, if it's going to happen. And then the last card, I have found the one that my soul loves. And that's yourself. How beautiful. That is beautiful. You guys are stepping up today, big time. You're graduating. That's a beautiful thing. Anyway, I love, love, love you guys. You guys had a bonus reading today. You just had to. First reading was really deep. If you didn't watch it, go back and watch it. And uh, I will talk to everyone soon. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.